all right welcome back guys um in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to hide um how to edit your add new product um, tab so essentially if i click on the add new product like i just did the there is the options to add some di product data okay like um product image product name um and some other stuffs okay and then just below it there is a create product and the create and add new so essentially this may be confusing for um your potential vendor um i think it's easier to just have just a create product button okay on this particular section such that when they impute um, the product data they can click on create product okay now um so essentially what we want to do is we want to remove this button from the flow of the page or we want to hide the create and add new button so basically it's um, very straightforward all you need to do is to right click and if i click on inspect um you will see that there is this section here for the button and then it it has an id of create and add new okay and you know some class okay so dokan dokan button dokan button theme and then an idea of create and add new so essentially to disable this button all you need to do is to let me show you the code so all you need to do is you need to um get this class do can create an add new button class so if i copy this class and i'm gonna copy it I right click and copy and if i go to the back end of my website okay and then in the additional css section okay so basically to get to this section all you need to do is to come to appearance and click on customize and then it brings you to this your wordpress customizer if you scroll down on this left section you're going to see the additional css okay i expect that you know how to do this if you're using dokan and then i'm going to say i'm going to add a comment so this is how you add a comment in css and i'm going to say hide the create and add new button okay and then i'm going to paste in that css i copied from the other area and then i'm going to publish okay so if i go back to this area i'm going to close this um, chrome console and if i refresh the page so first off i'm going to refresh the page and i'm going to um click on add new products so as you can see the create and add new button is out of the flow of the page so if a vendor enters in um the product initial product data and they click on create products um the and the you know they are not going to see the create and add new button with that css okay so essentially that's how um, you hide that aspect of the button so um in this series like i said they are a lot of dokan customizations tutorial if you look in the description of this video you're going to see a link okay that contains the dokan customization playlist um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and enjoy good content thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one